All right, let's take a look at some tips and tricks that you might use uh, on a daily basis as you're working with forms. Again, this is from an educational standpoint, but I'm going to go back up here and click on the word forms, which is going to take me to the listing of all of the different forms that I have. So here we see the video sample that I did uh, through the previous videos. What I want to do is replicate that same form and be able to just go in and edit things. So for example, I like to use entry tickets and exit tickets when I was in teaching classes. And it's really easy to just copy the form from the day before so that I don't have to enter all the same information. I usually had a few questions that were the same, like names and things like that. Although remember, Microsoft Forms will, if you're working within uh, your domain tenant, it'll allow you to just go ahead and capture that stuff automatically so you don't even have to add the forms. But if I wanted to go ahead and copy this, all I have to do is click on the dot, dot, dot menu here and it says copy. And so I'm going to make a copy of that. And you'll notice here, it literally just creates the same exact form over here, but now I've got zero responses. Now I can click on that and I could come up here and change the title of it. So maybe this is now going to be new sample. And I could go through here and I could edit the questions accordingly. This could come in handy for the entry and exit ticket idea simply because now you just copy the same format. You've got three or four questions and you're just going in and changing those questions. Uh, you may use the same style of questions. So as a math teacher, I might have here, what was the answer to last night's homework number four? And what was the answer to last night's homework number seven? And we talked about as you left class yesterday what slope meant. Please explain more in detail. Well, then the next day I come in, I might just change the four to a three, the two in this question to a seven, and then down here I would change that to be something totally different. And at that point, I would be able to have a whole new entry ticket without really having to do a whole lot of work. So that's just one idea to be able to save you a little bit of time as you're working on uh, forms. Hope this is helpful.